Hello and welcome everyone, my name is DMC. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the best class setup for hardware rivals. This is the class I use to crush the opponents. This is how I get all my 20 and 0 gameplays. I'm gonna show you the vehicle I use and I'm also gonna show you all my upgrades. So all right, first, let's start with the vehicles. So this is the Jeep I use right here, the Nomad. I use this one because it has a little bit more defense than the other ones. You see, if you look over here, you actually lose like one point of defense by switching to that, which I just don't think it's worth it. It's got a little more attack, it's a little bit faster, but honestly, most of the time in this game, if you go faster, you're just gonna crash into something. So for me, I wanna survive that heavy missile strike. And for the camos, I don't use any of the camos, guys. I'm just trying to blend in. Like, if you're really trying to get the best KD, the best score, you gotta use something that you think will actually give you a little bit of cover. And so that's what I use camo for. Call me old-fashioned, but I use it for its real, original purpose. And I don't use tanks. I tried to tank once, and it pretty much... I got two kills, I got disconnected, and then I just left it. Same thing with my character here. I use the green army camo. You know, I guess this one right here is pretty good. You know, if you want to piss your enemy off, you kill him wearing this heart here, show him your butt, and then you might, you might piss him off and you might throw off their game a little bit. But yeah, guys, I just use the regular camo. I think that's the best one. These are my upgrades right here. So for targeting, you got three choices here. I use Quick Draw. It gives you quicker lock and it gives you a faster payload delivery. And that's for your secondary weapons. That means your, your heavy missiles, your light missiles, that's going to get there faster. That's definitely what you want. This is a wider lock radius. I mean, that's good, you know, if you're trying to get on target, if you're having trouble with that, but that only gives you one thing. And then with this, it's just helping out your primary weapon, which most of the time you don't want to use that too much just to finish people off. So I'm going with quick draw. Uh, now for here, aerial combat. You know, it's good to be able to move better while you're in the air, but most of the time you're not in the air in this game. And pedal to the metal, again, most of the time, if you go faster in this game, you're just going to crash into more stuff. Most of the time, it's not going to help you. This is the one I think is best. Once again, it actually offers you two things in one. You got harder, you got a harder stop and you got a tighter turn, which the tighter turn is the one I really need. And now for defense, this one right here, the first one has saved my life a few times, system-wide self-repair. Sometimes you're almost, almost dead. You manage to get around a corner and I think it gives you like 30 more health. That one's pretty good, but a lot of times when you die in this game, you're dead before you even have a chance to realize what's going on. So a lot of times that's not that helpful. The one I'm using right now is this one and it gives you more armor overall. So if you have max armor, you're more likely to survive a heavy missile strike. So that's why I use this one. This one is good also as well. If most of the time you found that you're hurt and you're rarely at full health and full armor, this one can be better because every time you pick up health, it can heal you more. But right now I'm using this one. Most of the time I'm sitting pretty good on my health and my armor and I just wanna max it out so I can try to survive those sudden surprise missile strikes that I can't get away from. And now this one, Wider radar. Uh, you know, radar is not real big in this game. It's not a lot you need to check the map for. Usually you see people and that's how you kill them. Uh, Sixth Sense. This one can be good because sometimes you know that there are pickups located around the corner, but you're not sure if it's actually there at the moment. So this one is good, but I still prefer to use countermeasures. This keeps you off the radar a little bit just in case if any really good players are near you and they're checking the map. I don't know how much it actually reduces how much they can see you on the radar, but any little bit helps, so that's why I use that one. And then finally, last for weapon, this decreases the reload time for all my secondary weapons, which is what I want. When I shoot my first light missile or my first heavy missile, I wanna get that second shot out as fast as possible so I can finish that kill. Uh, so here we also have, we have high damage for your primary weapon, but again, I think this is more suited for tanks. If you're in your Jeep, you don't wanna be spending too much time gunning people down because you're gonna get yourself killed that way. You wanna fire those missiles and get out of there as quickly as possible. And then for this one, splash radius. I mean, basically what that means is you're gonna hit a second target or maybe even you missed your first target. And in both cases, if you miss your first target, you're already not really in a good position. You don't wanna be like hitting near your target and hoping to hit them with splash damage. And you know, if there's two guys nearby, you might get a few kills with that, but most of the time, what you're gonna want here is to get that secondary weapon reloaded as fast as possible so that you can get that kill. So that is my class, guys. This is what I recommend that you guys use. This is what I use for all my 20 and 0 gameplays. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can hit that subscribe button to stay connected to all my videos and also leave a like. Thanks so much for watching. I'm DMC and I'll see you guys in the next video.